Hello ladies and gentlemen. This little guy here is a red-eared slider. You can tell he's a male by the length of his claws. We found these characters to be so amazing that we ordered a couple of them off of the turtle store. Incredibly, they sent them in a box in winter packed in styrofoam. And we thought, wow, what an amazingly durable creature. After a little research, we actually found that this was one of the most invasive species in the world. So we decided, let's go to Eric and see if he could shed some light on why this creature is so prolific. Hey Eric, look what I've got. Ah! Big green cockroaches. Step on them. That cockroaches, Eric. What are they? They're red-eared sliders. That's the worst kind. No, they're aquatic animals. You bought aquatic cockroaches? No, they're turtles. Then you bought an invasive species. They're not invasive in Louisiana. They are generalists. They eat fish, insects, vegetables, meat. They live in water and they move on land. They hunt in summer, breed in spring, and brume in winter. Brume? Yes, it's hibernation for reptiles, like alligators and turtles. Well, that would explain some things. Tell the kids about it. In winter, they slow down their metabolism and take advantage of water's unique physical properties. Water reaches its maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius, or 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So when the top of a lake freezes, the bottom of the lake stays liquid. The turtle settles at the bottom of the lake. He slows down his metabolism. He goes essentially to sleep. This allows him to absorb enough oxygen from the water to survive. Well, how do they do that? This is a family friendly show. Of course. We'll come a little closer. Oh, yeah, go ahead and tell him. Okay, he breathes from his butt. <laughs> from his butt. Turtles only have one cavity. They excrete and reproduce through this. It is called the cloaca. The turtle pumps water into the cloaca. The air is absorbed by blood-rich tissue lining it. They have two cloacal sacs that are similar to the throat that they have and have tiny capillary blood vessels equipped to absorb oxygen from the water. Stop that, you idiot! Give him some privacy, man. Okay, Eric, so what do we learn about brumation? Hibernation for reptiles. And about cloacal respiration? Breathing through the butt. And that red-eared sliders are not? Invasive to Louisiana. So what are the requirements of an invasive species? The species must not be native and must be destructive. Uh, can you give us some examples? Water hyacinths, kudzu, brown annuals, uchira rats, feral hogs, fire ants, formosan termites, real grand cichlids, and giant Asian carp. That's a pretty good recitation there, Eric. I think you should be proud of yourself. Say good night. Wait, you idiot. You forgot the most important part. What? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. <sighs> Say good night, Eric. Good night, Eric.